In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. We have to let the Spirit of God renew us. And as much as we say, yes, you know, we are willing to walk with God, so many times we just sat down and say, okay, yes, I know that we, I have to walk with God, but I want to do what I want. So let us ask the Lord that we may have the desire to let the Spirit guide us. And to start our celebration, let us ask for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our early parentage, may be transformed in the image of your heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in the city against their holy servant, Jesus, whom they anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, blessed are all who may take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king, my king on Zion, my holy mountain, I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. 
Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall scatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are the teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man, once grown old, be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is a spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. I guess that the character or the persona of Nicodemus should help us to consider how open are we to grow in the life of God. And I say to grow because all of us are baptized. So that means that all of us have the possibility of letting the sanctifying grace of God transform us. The question is, are we willing to do so? Because uh, Nicodemus goes to Jesus, and mind you, you know, he goes at night. And he is one of the leading uh, rulers. And he goes at night because probably he doesn't want other people to recognize him, right? And he doesn't want to get in trouble. And I was thinking this portion in relationship with the first reading, where the disciples are saying, come on, Lord, help us here. Because people want to destroy us and... You know, they just want us to shut up. That's it. And I was thinking how much we get into the desire of convincing everyone about Christianity and about the values of the gospel. However, if we were so good in doing what the Lord asked us to do, we will need less words to explain who Jesus is. In other words, if we were to live the life God is proposing to us, people will see the newness of life. The problem, the problem here is that we like to talk too much. <laughs> and sometimes we are less uh, avid in doing what the Lord asks from us. So I guess the challenge is not only to be interested in God or to 
try to go, you know, to reach out to God, either to the sacraments or to acts of work, whatever else, you know. But rather, can we keep ourselves in the grace of God, that the grace of God may transform our lives? And with that, show everybody else that God is in us. And I like the conclusion of Jesus, you know. Those who are born of the Spirit, you don't know where they are coming from. Simple as that, you know. Coming from God, as much as we put our effort mentally, we will never be able to decipher God, to fully understand him. We can see glimpses of who God is. Or rather, as Thomas will say, we fully understand who God is not is. And when we are able to do that, then it's much easier for us to say, am I bringing the life of God out? Am I testifying to God? And instead of being afraid that people are trying to push us everywhere, well, why do I have to be afraid? It's the spirit that moves. It's the spirit that gives us strength. And it's the spirit who confirms the works of God. So we pray that we may let the Spirit of God work in us, that in whatever we do, whatever we say, we may manifest our belonging to God. Please all rise. And let us offer to God our petitions and our needs. For all who entered the church at Easter, may the Holy Spirit fill them with grace and strength, their commitment to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who hold elected office, may the wisdom of God guide their decisions for the good of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who face daily hardship of searching for food or shelter, may God grant them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our faith community, may the joy of the resurrected Jesus fill our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, May they know the eternal joy of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life, from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Caitlin Blattner, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, Father of mercies, hear these our prayers and those that we have kept in our hearts. Grant them according to your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to you, at goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to you, at goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defend us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, let it do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word in my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mystery may attain in their flesh the uncorruptible glory of the resurrection. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Psalm Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And though thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.